we have not looked at so far is the non verbal reasoning you get one odd question in bits at every year from non verbal reasoning and today we will finish that off and see uh, how you uh, how you can prepare from now on uh, non verbal reasoning is again like any other logical reasoning question not very difficult and we will see why it is not difficult we will see some samples today and i think that should be sufficient for us to get an idea of what these questions are and how to answer these questions right so let's look at this first question here there's an example select from alternatives the figure x that exactly fits in the main figure to complete its original pattern now what is the main figure that is given there the main figure that is given there is this this is the main figure this is the main figure right so he's saying uh, what could be the one which could fit in here already shreya and sairam satvik both have answered uh, let us see if others can answer rishita has already answered okay so here what is happening is if you observe this is not uh, rishita has also answered madhumita you got to check your answer madhumita see if we just have to look at it a little uh, in a focused way what's happening is here there are four squares 1 uh, 2 3 4 all right four squares and if you see this particular shaded area the shaded area that i am referring to is going clockwise like this clockwise clockwise so when you have this here the clockwise portion so the shaded area will come here the shaded area will come here um, so this is the shaded area all right so yep so she sairam satvik has given a name to it he says it is a petal very nice that's a petal so this is the shaded area so the shaded area will come here madhumita are you following why b is the answer bagirat has also answered good mohammed uh, what's your full name mohammed shreshta has answered very nice mohammed what's your full name so answer is not a answer is answer is b i mean you have identified one part correctly that it should be the shape of the petal as satvik uh, sairam satvik calls is this that is how it should be the inclination should be like that but is it a or is it b definitely it is not a because uh, if you see this is moving clockwise the shaded area is going moving clockwise all right so therefore the answer is b uh, madhumita have you understood it all right i hope you understood why it is b and not a okay so there is a simple logic there you just have to get that logic okay let's move on let's move on please hold on my screen my screen is frozen just just let's give it some time i hope you are hearing my audio just give it some time for my screen to unfreeze
Yes, sorry, I'm back. Um, Yeah, I hope you are able to hear my audio now. Are you all there? Yes, good. So let's go quickly go on before this. Uh, yeah, Zaima, good. So let's go on. Zaima, you have joined on our last class. You have joined the BITSAC classes on the last class. All right, now let's go on to the next one. Select from the alternatives figure X that exactly fits in. Um, yes, we, uh, Shreya has answered. Sairam Satvik has answered, Tara has answered, um, Ruchita has answered, Madhumita has answered, good. A lot of people have answered. Yes, Shreya as usual has come up with the wrong answer first and then corrected it. Bhagirath has answered, Shreshta has answered, fantastic. You all got the, you're all getting the hang of the things. So this is very simple in the sense that, uh, so you need to have one line which goes from here, all right? So there should be a line for symmetry because we are talking about two lines uh, intersecting perpendicular to each other. And on that basis itself, we can eliminate all the other answer choices except C. So C is the answer, just on that basis, because that is the only choice where there is a perpendicular, uh, uh, there is a, a line which goes across straight intersecting with the other line. So therefore, answer is C. As you can make out, these are very easy questions. You should just get the hang of it. So answer is C. Everybody has got it. Now let's look at this one. Let's look at this one. Shreya has answered it. All right. Ruchita has answered it. Very nice. Who else? Madhumita, why is that answer? Rishita, you got to check. Madhumita, how can that be the answer? Rishita, uh, okay, Madhumita, you got to see. Sairam Satvik, you also have to see how to arrive at the answer. Okay, Rishita, yes, you got the answer right. All right, so if you can see, yes, Sairam Satvik, mirror image, yes, you got it. So it should be, um, yeah. Madhumita, yes, now you've got it. See, basically, the choice is between B and D. I'm sure everybody has got that. That logic, everybody has got, B and D. All right? So out of B and D, there are two objections to B. One is this line that you see here. This is rather long. Here, looking at we are looking at just a short stretch. All right? So that is one. Second is the placement of this. This has to be the mirror image of this particular square. So here the circle is pointing in this direction. All right. So here, whatever circle is placed, that circle has to be like this. All right. Has to be like that. And from that point of view, answer is D. Okay. So that is simple. Everybody has got it now. Those of you who've said B also now are convinced about D. Now this is again another simple one. Let's try to answer this question. Fourth one, please try. Fourth one. Shreya has answered. Yup. Okay. Zayma has answered. Okay. Rishita has answered, Madhumita has answered, Sairam Satvik. Oh, yes, everybody has got it. Good. Shreshta has answered. Shreshta, you got to look at it a little closely, Shreshta. Just look at it a little closely. Bhagirath, what's your answer? Yes, Bhagirath, you got it right. So if you see, just look at it closely. You have three circles and uh, three circles and two squares, three circles and two squares. We've got three circles and two squares. So some of you have given Shreshta, for example, has given B as the answer. In B, there are only three, three arcs, 
That's all right. So as part of three circles, but there is only one part of a square here, only this part. Whereas it should contain two squares like in D. This square as well as this square. So answer is D. I hope Shreshta, you got the logic now. Answer is D and not B. D for Delhi, not B for Bombay. All right. I hope everybody has got it. Let's go on. Fifth one. Yes. Think on this for a while. Don't quickly jump. Don't quickly jump to a conclusion. Just think on it for a while. Okay, Rishita has answered. Good, Rishita. Fast thinking. Sairam Satvik, I told you, just think for a while. All right, that doesn't look like an answer. Zaima, wait, wait, wait. Zaima. Shreya also. That is not the answer. That is not the answer. Ruchita has answered. Ruchita has answered. Just imagine what could be the figure. What could be the final figure? The final figure, what could it be? Ruchita has answered. Good. Shreya, Eshreya. <laughs> Eshreya has come up with some other logic. Shreya, that is not the answer. That is definitely not the answer. Bagirat, no sir. Bagirat, that can't be the answer. Just look at the symmetry of the figure. Just look at the symmetry of the figure. All right. Just look at Shreshta Yugan. Zaima, no, uh, sorry, Zaima. Shreshta, no, that's not the answer. So, see, what do you have? You have one curve like this. It's like this. So, obviously, one curve, one arc should be this. That is clear. One arc should be that. All right. So on that basis, you can eliminate B. All right. So the choice is between A, C and D. Everybody has given. Bhagirat, B can never be the answer. B, B can't be the answer for this reason. Okay. Now look at the symmetry. Now you have this here like this. You have an arc like this. All right. So obviously, you should have another arc like this to complete the symmetry. You should have another arc like this to complete the symmetry. All right. So therefore, the answer is A. Some of you have got A. Some of you have got C. So C is not the answer for this reason. It is not symmetric. If you have C, it is not symmetric. It will not come to this. All right. So the answer is a, I hope everybody has understood. You just have to look at symmetry. Of all the questions that we have discussed, this is slightly more complex than the rest of the questions. Let's go on a little bit and let's see the next question. Yes. Please answer this. This is very simple actually. Don't have to waste too much time. You can say, Rishita has answered it already. Yeah, I mean, it's so obvious. Eshreya, yes, Ruchita, yep, Zayma, yes, okay, so one thing is, yeah, Zayma, Shreshta, all right, Ruchita, Madhumita, everybody has got it, so basically the point is that there should be this line should continue, that is one, and there should be a complete semicircle touching the touching the edges. So this can't be the answer. This can't be the answer. This can't be by logic. Straight away you can say A is the answer. Not very difficult. Let's go on to 2. Let's go on to 2. Okay. Let's go on to 2. Alright. So 2. Yes. Hmm. Shreya has answered, Rishita has answered, Zaima has answered, Ruchita, Tara, Rishita, Sairam, Satvik, Shreshta. Very good. Everybody has answered it. It's not very difficult. All right. So what's happening is that this double line should continue like this. This double line should continue. All right. 
on that basis this is out and this is out the choice is between a and c on top of that you have the circle this has to be completed this this arc has to be completed for that reason answer is a all right chalo let's go on third one let's look at the third one let's look at the third one third what's the answer yes rishita has answered it shreya has answered it ruchita has answered it tara has answered very nice sairam satvik has answered very good yep who else bagirath has answered yep zaima yeah not very difficult no this is this is not very difficult right okay so basically what should happen one is that um the square should be completed like this and uh, symmetric to this there should be this part should be darkened okay that should be darkened all right and uh, what should happen this square should be complete all right on that basis itself we can arrive at a as the answer and of course you need to have this lines you need to have that lines so answer is a straight forward okay so let's go on it it like it it requires a little bit of observation that's all nothing nothing great about this okay let's go on to this don't make any mistakes it's a very simple one answer it fourth one no mistakes please don't make any mistakes in that fourth one yes shreshta has answered it zaima has answered ruchita has answered right sairam satvik good rishita shreya very nice tara good bagirath madhumita what about you people yes madhumita good very nice okay so basically what's happening here okay one is that this line has to be extended on that basis this is out this is out then there is this uh this has to be completed all right so that has to be completed this has to be completed right and the square has to be completed and the circle has to be completed. so all of these things are in a so straight away we can say a is the answer and my screen has frozen again this is creating a problem for me today my god just just hang on for some time please today i'm operating from my room and again we've got these problems just wait for some time please wait for some time let me see if i can unfreeze this yes so now unfrozen so i hope uh, you've got it right so answer is a let's go on let's go on to the next one let's go on to the fifth one please answer the fifth one everybody please answer the fifth one yes fifth yes ruchita has answered it yeah madhumita has answered good shreshta has answered very nice all right okay yeah tara has answered all right let me see if anybody else can answer this question yeah sairam satvik has answered zaima 
Zaima, what is your option, sir? Zaima? Okay. So you're clear? Answer is uh, yeah, Zaima, that's right. Okay. Yes, Bhagirath has answered. So if you see this particular line should continue, should continue like this. And then this arc should be complete. The complete arc should be there. So on that, and then the internal pattern, this diagram, this arc should continue and internal pattern should be there. And uh, on that basis, answer C is right. Okay, right. So we have seen uh, some questions on uh, this pattern. Now let's look at uh, something else. Let's look at rule detection another kind of non-verbal reasoning, okay? So here, there is a rule, and we'll have to see, out of the options given, which of the options follows the rule that is given. So here, what is the rule? The rule is stated here. The complex figure, the rule is this. The complex figure gets simpler as one moves, actually it should be moves, one moves, one moves from left to right, as one moves from left to right. Okay, so already people have answered. Shreya, I've already answered this question. Are you answering this question or are you answering the previous question? Okay, this is called rule detection. Yeah, Ruchita, good. So we are looking at a figure, a complex figure, gets simpler as one moves from left to right. Okay, so it gets simpler. Now let's look at this, uh, the first diagram. Let's look at the A option. Let's look at option A. Now option A, what's happening is you started with a circle. Circle is the simplest of figures. Then you complicated it by having a square with a diagonal and then a rectangle with a diagonal and, and another uh, line bisecting. So this is getting complex. It is not becoming simple. Similarly, this rectangle in the, in the case of B, what's happening? A rectangle has become a circle, okay, with a diameter drawn, which has become a rhombus with a diagonal drawn. It is getting more complex. So this can't be the answer. This can't be the answer, all right? Now, if you look at C, what's happening is you are, you are starting with a compli complicated figure with a square, with the diagonals drawn, then internally some more lines drawn. So here in B, some lines are reduced. In, in the, here, some lines are reduced. Some lines are reduced further. It is becoming simpler and simpler as we go along. And therefore, the right answer is C. Even in this case, what, has, what is happening is a circle has become a square, has become a triangle, and suddenly from a triangle, it has become a rhombus with a diagonal. So it has become more, more sides, more lines are included, and therefore it is not becoming simple. It is becoming simple to complex, or the pattern is uneven in this case also. For this reason, this is also not right. Answer is C. So here, what have we seen? What kind of questions are we talking about? There is a rule. You got to check up among the options that are given, which one follows the rule that is given. So that is what we have discussed in the first one. Now let's look at the second one. Okay, let's look at the second one. Please answer the second one. Rishita has answered this already. Good. Ruchita has answered, Eshre has answered. What about the rest? Madhumita, Bagheera, Tara, Zaima. What about the rest? Please answer. Sairam Satvik. Sairam Satvik. What is the rule and what are you doing? What is the rule? The rule is closed figures gradually become open and open figures gradually become closed. Madhumita, look at your answer, Madhumita. Closed figures gradually become open. No, that is also not the answer, Madhumita. 
closed figures gradually become open and open figures gradually become closed. So, what are we dealing with in A, for example? A, Madhumita, yes, now you've got it. We are dealing with, in A, we are dealing with a square and a circle. It has opened all right. The square has opened all right here. In this case also, it has opened. But suddenly, you get a complex figure here and the circle disappears. The circle becomes a triangle here. So the pattern is uneven. So this is not the right answer. Now, in the, in the case of B, a circle becomes an arc the, from here to here, there is no, there is no difference, all right? And this rectangle is not opening from the first figure to the second figure. On the contrary, if you look at C, you are, you are dealing with a square outside and a line. Now, what's happening to the square? The square has lost one side, then another side, then another side. So the square is gradually opening up. What is happening to the line? The line has developed one more line here, one more line here, and one more line here. So it, the, the line over three transitions has become a square. Shreshta, your answer is not B. Just look at the reasoning that I'm trying to give. Your answer is not B. Just look at the reasoning. So what has happened to the square? The square after three transitions has become a line, and a line has become a square. So what are we talking about? A closed figure has become open and an open figure has become closed. And for that reason, if you see, option C meets the rule completely. Closed figures gradually become open and open figures gradually become closed. And that reason answer is C. Shreshta, I hope you have understood. Madhumita, I hope you got the logic. Zayma, you also, I hope you have understood the logic. Okay, right. Let's go on. Let's look at the next one. Let's look at the second, <clears throat> second one. Second one. Let's look at the second one. Yeah, Rishita has answered already. Madhumita, just look at your answers. Don't be in a rush, Madhumita. Don't be in a rush to answer. Shreya, yes. Ruchita, yes. Zaima, yes. Madhumita, just go back to your answer. What is the rule? Sairam Sattvik has answered. Bhagirath, what is your answer? Simple figures become more complex. Simple figures become more complex. Tara, why is that your answer, Tara? Tara, now if you look at, if you look at figure A, from here to here, it is becoming complex. From here to here, it is becoming complex. But from here to here, it is not becoming complex. It is becoming simple. So this can't be, Sreshta, this can't be the answer. Tara, this can't be the answer. All right? Okay. Now let's look at B. Now B, what is happening? From... Uh, Here to here, it is becoming simple. From here to here, it is becoming simple. So this also can't be the answer. On the other hand, just look at C. C started with what? Okay, one diagonal line and two lines. Then here, here you have one more line here. Then here you have one more line here. And then here you have one more line here. So perfectly, it is becoming complex as we go along. Are we clear, Madhumita? All right. Here, what's happening? From here to here, it is becoming simple. Okay. So, it has to become consistently complex. Okay. I hope all of you are, are, you, are with me on this. Madhumita, I hope you've got it. Okay. Madhumita, you, you have to answer. Have you got it or not? All right. So, let's go on. Yeah. So let's go on to another example. Let's look at this. Let's look at this.
Zayma has answered. Rishita has answered. Hello, Zayma is very fast. Good. Sairam Satvik has answered. Ruchita has answered. Yeah. Yes. Rest of the people. Bhagirath. Madhavita has answered. Fantastic. Very good. Shreya, H. Shreya switched off. No answers. Tara has answered. Okay. So if you see everybody, it's very clear. The number of sides decreases in close figures and the number of sides increases in open figures. So if you see, there is an outer rectangle and an internally there is one line. What is happening to the rectangle? Finally, it is loading, losing all its sides and it is becoming open like this. And what is happening to this line? That line has become a square here. So answer is A straight away. So this is what is known as rule detection. So what happens here? A rule is given and you are given four options. You have to observe the rule carefully and you have to apply. So again, just as in any other multiple choice questions, you should not be misled by eye catchers. So there is a quest, there, is, there may be an option which looks almost right. No, we are not interested in finding out almost right answers. What we are supposed to find out is the right answer. There is only one right answer and you want to find out. So don't check up, don't identify also right answers. Okay. And apply the rule thoroughly. That's all you want to do. Here the rule is very simple in this question. Okay. Sites decreases in closed figures and number of sites increases in open figures. So you got to see where it is happening. Similarly, Complex. Complex means more lines get added, more arcs get added. That is what it is. So whether consistently that is not happening or not, that is what you got to check. So it is a power of observation only. It only checks power of observation, not so much of intelligence, how closely you observe things. That is all that is bothered about. Now let me also tell you something about this bits act. Um, Nonverbal reasoning questions. See, as you know, the BITSAT database of questions is not available outside, unlike your JE main or JE advanced, where the question papers are displayed in the public domain. BITSAT question papers are not available outside. So the question is, all these people say BITSAT 2018, 2019, 2017 questions. How does this happen? So, like for example, Arihant or any guide, they'll say bits at 18 question, bits at 7, 2017 question. How does it happen? It happens on the basis of memory. Okay. So students come out and say that this is the question that we've got. It is possible for students to recollect almost accurately questions in maths, physics, chemistry, English, and logical reasoning, all questions except non-verbal reasoning. In non-verbal reasoning, it becomes very difficult for the student to come out and draw all these complex figures from memory. So therefore, all the non-verbal reasoning questions that you see outside are just approximations. We are only approximating. We are only on the basis of what students tell us. What we are trying to do is we are trying to reframe the questions. Sir. All right. So there is no accurate depiction of bitsat non-verbal reasoning questions anywhere. So what all we can do is, we assume that the patterns will be this and try to see a variety of questions of that type and get prepared, that is all. But what I can tell you for sure is, don't lose too much sleep around these questions because these questions are very simple as you have seen. There is no particular technique in terms of answering these questions except the power of observation. So that is all that we will try to develop today. Now let's go to the next set of questions, which is known as figure matrix. That is also a rather easy kind of questions. Let us look at figure matrix. So can you answer this question, figure matrix? Find out which of the answer figures A, B, C, and D 
completes the figure matrix. Yep. Shreya, is your answer for this question? You answered very fast. Ruchita, yes. Madhumita, yes. Yeah, Ruchita, Tara, good. You see, without even my introducing the first question, you've already got the hang of it. I see. Okay. Bhagirath. Bhagirath, that's not the answer, Bhagirath. You just have to look at it a little more closely. Okay. Now, let me see. Let me see how to answer. Tara, yes, you got it right. So here, Sreshta, yes. Here, we are talking about one square. Shit. We're talking about one square. We're talking about two squares. We're talking about three squares. Here, we are talking about two squares. It has become four. It has become six. Here, the increment is plus one. Here, the increment is plus two. Here, what's happening? Three and then, and then six. Three followed by six. So we can expect the increment to be plus three. So next one will be nine. All right. And on that basis, your answer is B. Okay. Answer is B. So basically you, you, you see some logic there and try to answer questions on the basis of this logic. All right. So let's look at this. Okay. Second one. Second one. Yes, Zaima has answered it already. Good, Zaima. Rishita. Yeah, Zaima, you got to look at your answer. It is seemingly right, but not the exact right answer. So our job, as I told you earlier, is to find the right answer, not a seemingly right answer. Rishita has answered it. Okay. Shreshta. <laughs> Why is that the answer, Shreshta? Why, Shreshta? Shreya has answered it. Shreya, just look at your answer. See if there is a better answer, Shreya. Sairam Satvik. What is your answer, Sairam Satvik? Ah, okay. No, that is not. Okay, that's a, there's a better answer, Sairam. Shreshta. Okay, slightly better than your previous answer. But is, there is still a better answer. Madhumita. Yes, Ruchita, you got the right answer. Madhumita. Okay. Tara, Tara, we'll see. Yes, Shreya, you got the right answer. Tara, you just have to see. Shreya, can you explain to me why you have moved from uh, previous answer to the current answer. Why? Sairam Satvik, you are taking a wild guess. How can that be the answer? Huh? It's a real wild guess. Okay. Tara, your answer is all right, but there is a better answer, Tara. Shreya, can you explain to me why you moved from the previous answer to the current answer? Madhubita, we are still waiting for your answer. Bhagirath, we are still waiting for your answer. Sairam Satvik, you are. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Yep. Okay. Now let's look at this. Here, we are obviously, what is the logic? Yeah. What's the logic that we are trying to form here? The, the figure in one square is leading to the figure in the second square, horizontal row. Okay. Each row, there is a logic. There is no vertical logic. There is a horizontal logic. So, in the second one, what has happened? There is one semicircle like this. 
there is another semicircle sitting on it so what has what has been done to the second semicircle the second semicircle has been turned like this all right and you've got a circle like this okay right so that is how we have arrived at this one now if you see this uh, there are two halves of a hexagon we are dealing with two halves of a hexagon so one half is given like this the other half is given like this so the closest both the hexagons are in such a way that uh, okay so if you form without actually as um, she has explained by turning 90 degrees this is the hexagon that is formed this is the hexagon that is formed like this all right like this logically speaking even your b also can be an answer b also can be an answer but our job as you all know is to select the best answer not b they are okay we have to select a better answer and the better answer is a the better answer is a and not b b also could be an answer okay b also could be an answer but in this particular case okay um, b uh, a is the answer okay let's go on yes ashray has given the logic she says, but on turning it by 90 degrees, I got A as in circle. Both the cases are the same. That's what she says, and that is right. Okay, let's go on to, okay, right. Let's go on to three. Now, let's see if you can get three. The third one, the third example. Aha, uh -huh. she, oh, God. A lot of people are getting, I thought it's a little, people may find it a little tough to answer this question. Okay, Sairam Satmik, what's your logic? Everybody has got it. Good, very nice. Sairam Satmik, what's your logic? Zema, yes, very nice, Zema, good. Angle pattern, is it? What is the angle pattern? I'm not able to see any angle pattern. What is the angle pattern? Anybody able to see angle pattern? I am not able to see. Yes, Shreya. You are right, Shreya. Fantastic. That's the answer. Sairam, I am not able to see any angle pattern there. <laughs> Sairam, Sadhvik, you have arrived at an answer and you are trying to find a logic to fit this. No, Sadhvik. 90, 120, 180 is not happening, my friend. 90, 120, 180 degrees. If that is the case, then how do you explain row 2? Yes, Ruchita, you got it. Yes, Ruchita, you also have got it. So here, we are talking about, okay, uh, four bars which are coming out. Here, three bars. Here, two bars. Here, three bars. Here two bars, here four bars. All right. So each row contains figures with two, three, and four bars. Now here there are two bars. Here there are four bars. So the next one will have three bars. So on that logic, answer is A. A lot of guys have got it right. Yeah. But logic, also most of you have got it right. Sairam Satvik, I hope you've got the logic. All right. So let's go on to the next example. Again, not very difficult. Let's see this. Let's see this. Could somebody answer this? Madhavita, is it the answer to this question? Yeah, good. Fantastic. Fantastic answer. Rishita has answered, Bhagirath has answered, Ruchita has answered, beautiful. Tara has answered. Very good. 
Sairam Satvik, fantastic. She has answered, everybody. Now, Tara, can you give me the logic for this? Tara, what is the logic? Or anybody, why only Tara? Anybody can, can you give me the logic? Why, why Tara, why? Why should it be like that? You are describing the answer. I, I want the logic, not the description of the answer. What is the logic? What is the logic? Can somebody give me the logic? Sairam Satvik, yeah. Is that the logic, uh, Madhumita? Where is the diagonal? I can't see a diagonal. Now, what's happening is, Ruchita, uh -huh. second and third row are cut diagonal, is it? Is that so, Ruchita? No, not necessary. Now, let me, let me give you a different view on this. The view is like this. Now, how did you get the second row? How did you get the second row? You got the second row from the first row, extracting a part of it, by extracting a part of it. What has happened? Let, let us look at the first figure. The first figure is like this. Okay? The first figure is like this. So what has happened? From that figure, you arrived at this figure. How did you arrive at that figure? By cutting some part by cutting some part like this. So you arrived at the second uh, uh, row in the second figure, but from the first figure in the first row by uh, taking a part of the first figure. Okay, now let's see the second one. Let's see the second one. Now in the second one, what's happening? Second one, what's happening? You have a square like this. You have a square like this. It's all shaded. This part is shaded. And how did you arrive at uh, the second one, this one? How did you arrive at this? By taking a diagonal, cutting across a diagonal, not even a diagonal, perhaps a line, an inclined line, an inclined line and you have arrived at the second figure. So the inclined line leads you to something like this. Okay, something like this. That is how you arrived at the second figure in the second row. I'm talking about this figure. Now let us look at this one. Let us look at the third figure. Let us look at the third figure in the first row. Let us look at the third figure in the first row. Now the third figure in the first row, how is it? Third figure in the first row is like this. This is how it is. Okay, so this is shaded. Now what do I do? I cut again along this diagonal. Which diagonal? A diagonal which I take like this. Then what do I get? I get something like this. I get something like this. Which is exactly my third figure in second row. Okay? Are you, are you following what I'm saying? Alright? So, you are getting the second row by cutting across some axis from the first row. Similarly, what is happening in the third row? Third row, what is happening? He is also cutting like this. So how is he cutting? Just look at the third row. Okay, let us look at the first figure in the first row. First figure in the first row is this. This is the first figure in the first row. Okay, now what do I do? I cut a portion like this. So the portion will look like this. The portion will look like this. Okay? The portion will look like this. And that is how I got, that is how I got this figure. Are you with me on this? Everybody? 
Yes or no? Okay. Similarly, you see, you will get this part. Similarly, you will get this part. How? By cutting the first one, by cutting this figure like this. Okay. Then you get the second one. Okay. You get this. So this is how you got this. All right. Now, just look at this. Here again, we are trying to find the same logic. Okay. What are we doing? What are we doing? We are doing the same thing. We are taking this square. Okay. This is a shaded portion. And we are cutting it. Cutting it so that we get something like this. All right. So, yeah. Okay. So that is how we have arrived at D. Okay. So answer is D. It is a little tedious to explain, especially when you are doing an online class, when you don't have a whiteboard and when you have a shady internet connection. So you got to take all precautions, but this is the logic. I hope everybody has got the logic. Okay. Let's go on to the next one. Fifth one. Let's go on to the fifth one. Yes. Please answer the fifth one. Please answer the fifth one. Rishida, okay, very nice. Shreya, Zaima, Madhumita, Ruchita, oh, fantastic. People have really got on, caught on to these questions. Don't they look simple? They look very simple. Tara, yes, got the answer. Good, everybody has got the answer. Now, almost everybody is getting. Sairam Satvik, my friend, is still thinking. Or perhaps his internet connection is a little slow. Bhagirath. Okay. Now, what's the? How do you answer this question? Yes. Ah, exactly. Now, what's happening is that Ruchita has given a logic. Okay. What is the logic? The logic is that in each row, take each row. This is a row. In each row, what's happening is that you are getting two perpendicular lines bisecting each other at the common point. This is the second figure. So this is getting added. In the third figure, what's happening is, this is the second figure, this is the second figure. In the third figure, what is happening is that these lines are getting replaced at their tips by circles. The lines are getting replaced at their edges by circles. So that is how you are seeing here. In the second one, you got these lines. And in the third one, the lines got replaced and you've got two circles at the two ends. Again, my, oh God. Again, my net is stuck. Sorry, please be a little patient. My net is stuck. Just be a little patient. Let's wait for this. We are almost done. Just, 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 just wait. We are almost done. Just, just have a little patience. Okay. Yes. Okay. So it is unfrozen. My net is back. All right. So now, therefore, by the same logic, by the same logic, what do you have? In this particular figure, all right, in this figure, these two lines will go and you, they will be replaced by four circles, four circles, and the remaining figure will remain as it is, so answer is B. 
Okay, let's go on further. Okay, let's look at this. Please answer this question. Please answer this question. Yes, please answer this question. Yeah, Rishita has answered it. Good. Shreya has answered. Very nice. Who else? Madhumita has answered. Madhumita, Madhumita, you got to check your answer, Madhumita. Ruchita has answered. Logic is simple, Madhumita. Don't complicate it. Just, yeah, you got it right. You got it right. Now you got it. Okay. Shreshta has answered. Bhagirath has answered. Yep. So, what is the logic? Could somebody tell me? Sairam Satvik is last. Where is he? Okay. What is the logic? What's the logic? Could somebody give me the logic here? Tara, Ruchita, Rishita. What's the logic? What is the logic? Nobody has given the logic. Now I will give the logic. Now what's happening? Yes. Tara, it's not just the figure shapes. Now what's happening is, you have two elements out here. One is the shape. The other is the, the, other is the number. Ruchita, okay, no mother. I'm giving the logic now. One is, you got two elements out here. One is the shape. Shape means what triangle dot or a plus symbol. So there are these three shapes and there is a number. In this particular case, there is triangle, there are dots and there are pluses. How many? Three, four and five. Here you have again dots, you have pluses and you have triangles. How many? Five, three and four. All right. Here what's happening? You have four pluses. You've got five triangles. So what is left now? You, you are left with three dots. That's it. Three dots. And for that reason, answer is B. So let us not complicate it. So simple logic. So there are two elements here. One is shapes. The other is number. Number is three, four, five. And shapes are triangle, dots, and pluses. So the only thing that is left is dots and three dots. Answer is B, straight away. Okay, everybody with me on this? Can we go on to the next one? Can we go to the next question, please? Yes, I'm going to the next question. Yep. Okay, let's look at this. And this is the last question for the day. You people must be very tired. This is the last question for the day. It's already past, well past six. It's 6.10 already. Yeah, this is the last question for the day. Please answer the question. I deliberately chose a slightly tougher question. Not that you may get this in Bitsat, but uh, we've seen all easy questions. So let us see one tough question. Audio not audible. Oh, sorry. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm screaming into my mic. Yeah, Shreya. Shreya has got it right. Fantastic. Very nice. Shreya has got it. What about the rest? Shreya, also think about the logic. Shreya, think about the logic also. What about the rest? Sir, Bhagirath. Bhagirath. That doesn't look like the answer, Bhagirath. Uh-huh. Are they moving? No, Shreya, that's not the logic. Okay. 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 All right. Yes, yes. Shreya, you're right. Shreshta doesn't look like they are. that is the answer, Shreya. Doesn't look like the answer. 
Uh, Shreya has given a fantastic logic. Okay. So, Shresh, just think about it. Just look at the, yes, Bhagirath, you got the answer. Bhagirath, you got the answer. Fantastic. You got the answer. Okay. Just concentrate on the movement of the hands, the hour hand and the minute hand of the clock. Hour hand and the minute hand. Yes, Ruchita, Rishita, now everybody has got it. Good. What is happening? How are the hands moving? How are the hands moving? Let's look at the first one. Our hand was like this. Then it was like this. Then it was like this. The minute hand was like this first. Then it became like this. And it became like this. All right. Redmi, who is Redmi? Redmi has joined very late in the day. All right. The our hand is like this. Then has become like this. And then it has become like this. Okay. The minute hand is like this. All right. Then has become like this. And like this. Starting from this. Okay. Now in this particular case, this is the uh, sorry. The our hand position is here. Then here. All right. And uh, the minute hand is here and here. Okay. okay. So they are moving like this. They are moving like this. Let me. They are moving like this. Okay. So Nitya, yes, Nitya. We were missing you, Nitya, for the last two classes. All right. Okay, but your answer is not correct. So here we can expect the our hand now to move further in the anti-clockwise direction. So the our hand is moving anti-clockwise. Now, the next thing that is happening is the our hand is moving anti-clockwise. And the next thing that is happening is the minute hand is taking our hands position, our hands position. Just look at all the figures, our hands position. Just look at all the figures. It is taking the our hands position. See here, the our hand was here. And the minute hand has come there. Then the our hand was here, the minute hand has come here. The our hand is here in this figure and the minute hand has come here. And the hour hand was here in this figure. The minute hand has also come there. So the hour hand is moving anti-clockwise and the minute hand is replacing the hour hand in the next figure. Okay. So going by that logic, going by that logic, all right. The hour hand is here like this. So the minute hand also has to be like this. And the hour hand is going anti-clockwise. So this is the position and therefore the answer is C. All right. So everybody has understood this. Okay. Very good. No problem. So basically uh, what we are trying to see here, there are two things that are happening. One is the hour hand is going anti-clockwise. All right. And the minute hand is replacing the hour hand position. So what you should do first is position the minute hand to the previous hour hands position and fix the hour hand anywhere in the anti-clockwise direction. Then you get the picture. So that is how we have answered at this. This is the answer. All right. Okay.
So now let me sum up the non-verbal reasoning questions. Non-verbal reasoning questions are all about observation. There is not much of logic built into it, mostly observation. Also, the kind of questions that can come in bits at, we are only guessing. We do not know exactly the questions, unlike in maths, physics, chemistry, English, and even other parts of logical reasoning, because it is impossible for somebody to come out and recall from memory exactly the nonverbal reasoning questions that have come. So one or two questions, not more than that, will come. And what, what will happen is that you just have to practice from the exercises that I have sent. Now, I want you to try all the exercises that I have sent. And what we will do is we will publish the solutions so that you can know for yourself what is the logic. All right. So I will publish the solutions on. Uh, I will give you time till Wednesday to answer all the uh, nonverbal reasoning questions. And we will publish the solutions through WhatsApp on Thursday. So Thursday, you can expect in your WhatsApp the solutions to all the nonverbal reasoning questions. So uh, I want you to try sincerely tomorrow and day after. Don't, as I told you, do not overdo logical reasoning and English any particular day. Take about half an hour tomorrow. Take another half an hour tomorrow and finish off these two, two days. And on Thursday, we will give you the solutions and check up the solutions. So that brings me to a close as far as English and logical reasoning uh, classes are concerned. I really enjoyed taking the classes and interacting with you people. I hope you got something of value. I have never ever handled English and logical reasoning, one complete set of classes for any batch. I used to form the syllabus. I used to form the, uh, get the course material ready, but I never ever handled a complete set. I used to come and handle one or two questions, but this time because of lockdown, we could not locate the kind of faculty with the equipment to teach you from their residences. So I took upon myself, to take up, to, 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 to do justice to English and logical reasoning. And uh, I continued it rather than involving somebody else at this late stage. So uh, normally we take about 10 sessions. We are already nearing 20 sessions. Okay. So good. Uh, I hope all of you do well at the BITSAT. And uh, I want each one of you to get selected, not just in BITS, but also uh, you should do well in both JE Main and JE Advanced. As I tell often that uh, it is only practice at this stage which will help you. Please do as much practice as possible. And uh, that is what will propel you. It is not very difficult to get into bits at this stage. Lot of students have lost focus all over the country. So you guys are still focused you are still attending English and logical reasoning even on the last day of my session shows that you are all um, still focused. So you need to carry this focus till the day of the exam by doing that practice every day. It's not very difficult. You've not you've seen the diff degree of difficulty of questions is not very high. Okay, so it's just that the pace needs to get developed. Just do that practice. You've got still sufficient days to develop the practice. You score anything close to 300, you are in bits. And believe me, let me tell you, let me tell you, my experience is that I've seen my students uh, getting into various bits campuses, where even if they've gone into bits, some of them today, let me tell you, some of them are better placed than several students in the IITs. Now, bits has a unique uh, concept in part of its instruction, which is called practice school. 
practice school means where you go and do uh, internship in a company. Summer internship you will do right from the first year. And in the final year, six months is reserved for this internship. And this they have been doing consistently across their three campuses for all their students. All right. And that I would say is the one which differentiates bits from IITs and NITs. And it is this which adds value to the students because they are already doing so much of internship. They already are familiar with the working culture of the organizations. And most of the students get pre-placement offers while they are doing their uh, practice school itself. And it's a very unique concept, which is uh, unique to BITS. That is number one. Second is, BITS also provides a lot of flexibility in terms of choice of your uh, minors. So you can take, say, for example, a MSc, and also can do, for example, computer science. Like in the last Microsoft batch of people who got selected in Microsoft, there was a girl who's done her MSc chemistry, MSc chemistry, and then she's got into in Microsoft, it's an IT company. Why? Because BITS provides that kind of flexibility for students from other streams also to do uh, specialization in other areas. All right. So that is something which you will get in BITS. So uh, I would say that try seriously, do work. You've been with us from March onwards for the BITSAT uh, classes. So March, April, half of March, April, May, and then there is at least, I think, one more week of classes for uh, maths, physics, and chemistry. So we are talking about a whole lot of practice that you people have done. And all of these things are going to be helpful. I, I wish you all the best, and I hope you do well. And my number, you all know. So you can continue to send me if you have any difficulty, I'm writing this again, my number here. So any difficulty, this is my temporary number, okay? So if you have any difficulty, you can send a WhatsApp, you can call me, and uh, I'll try to respond, okay? Have a good day. Thank you. All right. Yes. We'll end the class here.